right, one quick example, more on section 5.3. I just want you to recognize that this is a sine value and this is a cosine value and they're showing up in the same equation. You guys really haven't worked with that yet. So what we need to do is write probably the side squared of x in terms of cosine instead. Remember that the sine squared of x plus the cosine squared of x is equal to 1. <clears throat> So if I had to write this sine squared so that it was in terms of cosine instead, what would I do? I'm going to subtract cosine squared from each side. So I know then that the sine squared of x is equal to 1 minus the cosine squared of x. So I'm going to take this sine squared and I'm going to replace it with 1 minus cosine squared. And then I'm going to have a cosine squared and a cosine, which would be much easier to use than using a sine squared and a cosine. So I have two. <clears throat> I'm going to replace my sine squared with this. 1 minus cosine squared of x. And then I'm just going to write everything else down. Plus 3 cosine of x minus 3 equals 0. I have this 2 outside of the parentheses, so I should probably distribute it in. Very nice. So I have 2 minus 2 cosine <laughs> squared of x plus 3 cosine of x minus 3 equals 0. <coughs> so far, so good? No. <laughs> no? We have a 2 here. Oh, I get that. We have a 2, and we have a minus 3 that are just numbers. They're like terms, so I'm going to collect them. So I have negative 2 cosine squared of x plus 3 cosine of x. And I'm going to combine these two. 2 minus 3 is what? Negative 1. Negative 1 equals 0. Now, what's awkward about this is that there is a negative out in front. And I'm going to have to factor this, which I know you guys are not big fans of factoring, but we're going to have to do that. But it's really weird when there is a negative out in front of the squared value. Change so change them all, exactly. Make this one positive, but if you make this positive, you've got to change the signs of everything else. So what you're really doing is multiplying both sides of this equation by a negative 1, which will then make it positive here. So this is going to become 2 cosine squared of x minus 3 cosine of x plus 1 is equal to 0. What I'm going to do is write this down without cosines in it. I'm going to use x's instead, just so we can, you can, can see what's going on here. You have 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. We need to factor this. So when I say factor, I mean this. <clears throat> now remember, whatever you put here and here has to multiply to give you 2x squared. What's the only way that, what, what, what do you multiply to get 2x squared? 2x times 1x gets you 2x. I'm going to put a 2x here. I'm going to put a 1x here. <clears throat> so if I FOIL them, 2x times x is going to get me 2x squared. And then I have a 1 here. So I know that whatever I put here and here has to multiply to give me a positive 1. What multiplies to give you 1? 1 and 1. 1 and 1. So I know I have to have a 1 here and a 1 here. And you also know that in the middle we have a negative. So what do we have here? Negatives. So when I FOIL these, I better end up with 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So let's just quick make sure that happens. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. And negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So when I collect like terms, these two combine to give me negative 3x plus 1, which is exactly what I wanted it to be. So that said, I'm going to factor this. <coughs> So really what I have here is 2 cosine of x. 2 cosine of x what? Minus 
cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. And now I need to set both of these things equal to 0 individually and solve for x. And once you get to this point, it's not bad. So I'm going to erase here. So I have 2 cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. What do I do? Add 1. So I have 2 cosine of x equals 1. Divide by 2. So I have the cosine of x is equal to 1 half. We're only looking for positive 1 halves. I didn't take the square root. So we're not finding positive and negatives. We're just finding positive 1 halves. So look at your circles. Where is what x value has a cosine of 1 half? What is it? Pi over 3 and 5 thirds. So those are our first two answers. <clears throat> but remember, we have to consider this choice too, this factor also. So we also have the cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to each side. So we have the cosine of x equals 1. So what value on your unit circle has a cosine value <clears throat> of 1? 2 pi. Or Process. This thing right here, the initial replacing sine squared with something else, or replacing cosine squared with something else, you need to use that in numbers 22 and 29 on your assignment today. That's your assignment. If you um, had it one. written down already, make a little note to yourself. Make a little note to yourself that 22 and 29, you're going to do something similar to this. <clears throat> 